to a new video. I am filming this um, in the future of this video. Uh, I totally forgot to film an intro at the beginning, so I'm going to do that now before we get into it. So I saw this idea on um, Olivia Reed's A Latte's channel. She's been doing this for a while. Um, I always thought it was a great idea, but I never really got around to doing it. Um, and then in the last like month, I have hit a total like or I had hit a total like reading slump. I have been dealing with illness and sickness and my husband's had some health issues. I talked about all that in my weekly vlogs. Um, but I wanted to do something to kind of get myself back into reading to kick that slump. And I thought that I would go ahead and uh, give a shot. So basically what it is, is trading my screen time on my phone to reading time. So again, this isn't a concept that like I came up with. Um, I've seen Olivia do it. I'm sure there's probably other people who have done it as well. Um, but this was by no means like my idea. Um, I saw her do it. I loved her videos on it and I thought that I would give it a try myself. Um, so I'm not in any way taking credit for this. Um, but uh, I thought that this would work for me because I do spend a lot of time on my phone. I get sucked into the like TikTok scroll you know like never ending scroll of tiktok videos um i get sucked into instagram facebook whatever it is um and i end up not reading because i'm doing those things so um also one problem that i've had is that i don't like to be like sitting idle i have to be doing something um so anytime if i'm like waiting in line somewhere or if i'm like the passenger in the car while my husband's driving uh, anything like that, like if we're waiting for food at a restaurant, whatever the case is, I'll end up like, I'll end up scrolling on my phone. And so that jacks up that reading time or that screen time, I mean. Um, and I do have like a limit of screen time for certain apps on my phone. And I hit those all the time because I'm constantly on social media is mainly the biggest problem. So this is a way, that's another thing is that Olivia has used this as a way to cut back on social media. She actually ended up deleting her apps. I'm not going to do that. I already know that that's not going to happen. But if I can come back on my screen time usage, on my social media usage, then that would be great. As well as doing something a little bit more productive during those idle times like I was talking about. Um, so she mainly read physical books in her videos. Um, I'm going to do a mix of a little bit of everything. Um, I do have, or when I filmed this, I did have several Kindle books that I was trying to read. Um, audiobooks that I was trying to get through. And so those are what I focused on um, during the week that I filmed this. So this is going to be a little bit different than like a typical reading vlog in that I'm not going to give a ton of information about the books or about my thoughts on the books. I'm not really going to review the books. That'll come at the end of the month in my uh, wrap up for May, um, which should be coming out here in the next couple of weeks. Um, so you'll hear all that then. This is really just seeing if I can swap out that screen time with reading time if I can hit those like goals every day. So yeah, welcome to this uh, video. I don't want to say vlog because it's not really a vlog, but um, welcome to this video. Something a little bit different. Like I said, something I've been wanting to try for a while. I hope you guys enjoy it and get some book recommendations from it. Maybe you'll decide to try this out. If you do try it out, let me know down below how it goes. Leave me a comment what you think of this kind of video. If this is something you would be interested in doing, uh, please like and if you haven't already subscribed, um, go ahead and do that and let's get into this. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is Wednesday, May 17th now. Today is day one of this video. Um, so I am going to um, run this vlog, this video from Wednesday to Wednesday. We'll see how much reading I can get done in that time, how much time I can swap out social media, screen time, into reading time. So I do have some other stuff that needs to be done. I have some vlogs I need to edit, um, and I wanna do some writing, and the weekend's always busier than during the week, things like that. So um, I'm gonna see what I can do, see how much reading time I can squeeze in. Step one of this is gonna going to be, is going to be to see how long I need to read today. So that's what I'm gonna do at the beginning of each day. I'm gonna look and see what my screen time was for the week before um and see how much you know i need to read that day so for today i'm gonna look back at wednesday may 10th see how much screen time i used or had that day and that will be how much i read today so 
Um, I really have no idea what my screen times are. When Olivia did this video, hers were like 9 hours, 10 hours, 11 hours. I don't know if mine are going to be quite that high. They might be. I'm just may end up being kind of embarrassing that I have this much screen time. Um, I honestly have no idea what they're going to be. So let's see. So if I go through the days. So here it says last Wednesday's total was 7 hours and 31 minutes. But it says that the majority of that time was spent on info and reading. So I'm going to click on that. And if I open that up, it says that 2 hours and 35 minutes of that 7 hours and 31 minutes was spent on info and reading, which actually is my Libby app and my Kindle. And it looks like there was like 15 minutes of Goodreads. So I did spend 2 and a half hours of that 7 and a half hour screen time reading. So this day is a good example because it looks like part of that day or a good you know chunk of the, that seven and a half hours of screen time was actually just me listening to my audiobooks so that's great i'm happy with that so my goal for today for wednesday 5 17 um is actually only going to be five hours because if i start with the seven and a half hours that i had and i take away the two and a half that i did spend actually reading that day i'm not going to count that it leaves me with five hours so today's goal is going to be five hours of reading. So I'm going to start that five hours of reading now. Um, I did read some this morning, but I'm not gonna count that since I um, didn't have like a timer going and I don't know exactly how long I read for. I'm not gonna count that, I'm gonna start it now. So it is currently about 11 a.m. on Wednesday, so I'm gonna start now. My goal is five hours. The good thing is that it is Wednesday, so I'm working, so I can spend a lot of that time um, listening to audiobooks while I work. So that is probably what I'm gonna do at least until I get off at the floor and then I can do some more reading tonight. So, so let's get right into it. Eight perimeter around Sutton before finding Ansel Fitch. Finally spotting the old man over by the south wall rooting about in a bush with a long stick. Wallace watched okay, the man. So it, I have um, finished my first like reading sprint, I guess if you wanna call it. I read for 30 minutes or I listened to an audiobook for 30 minutes while I worked. Um, then I went in, um, my husband is on lunch, so I went and talked to him for a few minutes, so I stopped at that timer. It is now 12.15, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and restart the timer. I go to lunch at one every day, so I'm gonna do a 45 minute sprint while I work. I'll listen to, as you saw, I'm listening to Slowfoot, so I'll continue with that. Hopefully I'll be able to finish that, if not today, maybe tomorrow, maybe sometime this week. I think I have like three hours left reading two times speed, so I'm gonna get right back into it. I'm going to read from 12.15 to 1, so 45 minutes, and get, that will be basically like my first hour in. So I will check back in after the sprint. How they made his head ache. Leave me be, Samson growled. He spotted Sky and Creek over by the cabin, watching him, looking nervous, and he wondered yet again what it was they were hiding from him. So it is a few hours later, it is now like 8.15, just a, over an hour left, hour and five minutes. So I can easily get that done. I'm going to go hop in the shower once my husband gets out of the shower. And then I should be in bed by about 9. And then I we don't usually like turn the TV off or go to bed or anything until about 10.30. So it'll give me plenty of time to finish up that last little hour and five minutes. Um, I think, oh, actually before I say that. So I did finish Heart with Stealing. I wasn't sure about this one when I started it because I don't usually read these kind of books, but I actually did end up liking it. So I said I wasn't going to go into full review mode, details, all that. So I'm not going to do all that. You can see that in, that won't be in this week's um, weekly vlog because I'm doing something a little bit different, uh, but you'll see it in my wrap up at the end of the month. Um, so did end up liking it, gave it three stars. Leave it at that. Now in the next hour, when I read a little bit later after my shower and everything, I'm hoping to finish this. This is the Paper Daughters of Chinatown. I am 
Uh, let's see, 130 pages in, and there are 213, 214 pages. So less than 100 pages, like eight pages or something. So hopefully I can finish this. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it in an hour, um, but I will at least get through a good portion of it. And then tomorrow I'll be able to pick up some of my other books from my TBR, so that is exciting. So yeah, this is my goal to either finish this tonight or get like a good chunk um, of the way through the last little bit. I am more than 50% of the way through, so I'm even gonna finish it tonight. So yeah, that is everything for now. Probably won't update where I ended off tonight um, because I'm gonna, like I said, try to get into bed and get that reading done. But I'll update you guys in the morning, let you know where I ended off, and then we'll find out tomorrow's goal. So I will see you then. Good morning, welcome back. So today is Thursday, May 16th. Um, I did finish yesterday, um, reached my uh, five hour reading goal for yesterday. Perfect, great for day one. I finished uh, The Paper Daughters of Chinatown that I was talking about. This I've talked about this in um, previous vlogs and my TBRs, so if you wanna see kind of what it's about and all of that, you can look that up there. Um, but this is a five star, just like it's adult adaptation or adult version. I also finished the first volume of Blood on the Tracks. Um, I forget the author's name right now, but I will, um, I'll add the cover like up here so you can see it. Um, <clears throat> finished that. So I finished three books in day one of this training screen time for reading time. So that's a very successful day one. Um, I woke up early this morning, um, ready to read, so that's great that I am, like, excited to read, ready to go, so, um, I'm going to look and see what my goal is for today, so let me pull up my screen time for last week, and let's take a look and see what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to my screen time, let's go ahead and see what this is for today. I think as I get closer to the weekend, the screen time is probably going to increase because I do tend to be on social media and stuff more on the weekends when I'm not working, so. Okay, and it looks like my screen time was 8 hours and 42 minutes last Thursday, but if you look, again, it says that uh, information and reading was 3 hours and 22 minutes of that time. So if we go here... Again, it looks like that three hours and 22 minutes was spent on Kindle and my reading apps. So I'm not going to count those hours. So if we have 800, I mean, eight hours and 42 minutes minus the three hours and 22 minutes I already read that day. So it leaves us with five hours and 20 minutes as the goal for today. Okay, so this isn't going nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I honestly thought my screen time was going to be a lot worse. Um, and who knows, last week may have just been a good week where I read a lot. Um, I feel like there are definitely some weeks where this would not be the case. So I'll definitely end up having to do this again. And like I said, um, I may end up doing one where I don't listen to audiobooks because that makes it so much easier. I may only do physical books one of these times. But yeah, so 5 hours and 20 minutes, definitely doable. That's almost what I did yesterday. Um, not by much, like it's not much of an increase. So, um, I think what I'm going to do this morning, though, since I'm up early, is I am going to enjoy my coffee that I made a little bit ago. And I think I'm going to do some knitting. I'm going to, um, I have my, I have my blanket that I've been knitting. If you've watched my vlogs recently, I've talked about this in a few vlogs. Each color represents a different book. I'm doing each color based on a rating for a book. And by the end of the year, I'll have a, like a row knitted or a whole blanket knitted for all the books I've read for the year. I may do like a short talking about that. A YouTube short. Explain that a little bit further at some point. But um, I think I'm going to do some knitting and listen to some of the audiobooks I have. I um, am in the middle of several audiobooks, so I'd like to get through some of those. Uh, I do need to finish Slewfoot. I could probably finish that now if I wanted to. It did make me pretty mad yesterday. Um, so, like, Puritan culture, um, 
basically just accusing women who don't stick to the status quo of being witches and hanging them and just the hypocrisy of the people of that time it was making me angry so i stopped that but i think i'll pick it up for at least a little while again this morning and then have his body he frowned rubbing his chin i've wondered miss dahlia if there is such a thing as a counter incantation So it is about 10.30 now. I grabbed uh, two new books, um, new physical books to read um, that I have been on my TBR for a while now and I have been wanting to get to. So hopefully this little reading uh, vlog will help me get through. I also have a bunch of Kindle books, ebooks that I'm currently reading. Um, that I want to show you guys, but my Kindle is actually downstairs, so I'll have to do that when I'm on lunch. Um, I'll show you guys those, and then hopefully I can make it through some of those as well. I am going to start a new, um, timer and try to get to, through some more of these audiobooks. I'm in the middle of several different audiobooks. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to try to finish, um, Slufa today, or if I want to try to maybe start something new. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to finish it. I think I only have maybe like 45 minutes left. Um... So I have about an hour and a half until lunchtime. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can finish Slufa, get it done. That'll be my fourth book finished this um, vlog so far. I also want to try to do at least one more volume of Blood on the Tracks today. So hopefully it'll be another productive day. Uh, and yeah, I will let you guys know how the goal is going. <laughs> this vlog so yesterday was a good day i hit my goal again so i've hit my goal all three days um i actually went over a little bit yesterday by a few minutes so yesterday i did finish um slufa by brahm pretty good i think i said i gave it four stars um i was able to get like 20 to 30 percent more into in the lives of puppets by tg clune i'm hoping to finish that either today or tomorrow maybe um i have listen to a little bit more of my audiobooks. I did actually end up DNFing a book. Um, I DNFed Midnight Kisses. I forget who the author is. Um, I will put the cover up here. I forgot who the author is, but I ended up DNFing that. I just wasn't feeling it. I'll give more details about that at my wrap-up at the end of the month. Um, and so welcome to day three, like I said. I am going to go ahead and uh, do my little screen grab and show you guys what our goal is for today. I have a feeling today's is going to be higher because I usually, I think I said this yesterday maybe, I usually spend more time on my phone on the weekends. So I feel like my screen time is going to be higher over the next few days. So it might be harder to meet that goal. But we'll see. So far we're on a three-day streak. So hopefully we can keep it up. So let me turn around, figure out what the goal is for today, and then I will tell you guys what my game plan is for the day.
so as you saw, saw I kind of figured out what my goal was for the day. So today is seven hours, which is definitely a little bit more than I've had the last few days. And it's Friday, so it's a little bit harder for me to sit and read for a longer period of time. Usually on Fridays after work, we go get dinner, we go grocery shopping, do all the stuff. Um, so there's not as much time like sitting at home, um, you know, relaxing, watching TV, whatever for me to read. So I'm going to try to get in as much as I can during the work day. I'll listen to some audiobooks. I'll read on my lunch, try to get in as much as I can, and then eventually, um, when we get home tonight, if we have some downtime, I'll try to make up anything I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make the goal this today. I'm going to try. We'll see how it goes. It's already 9.30, so I still have like six and a half something hours of work. So if I can just listen to audiobooks all day while I work, I will get through a good chunk of my reading for today. for you guys but we just feel like we're ultimately kind of just waiting around for dinner and then the show is for tonight like yeah. we, we did want to just relax on the ship but um we knew going in there really wasn't much yeah we're, we're just not huge like pool people especially mm -hmm. when it's overcrowded i like to lounge out but not really go in the pool so much and there's a lot of loungers that they're being utilized today of course so we just have been kind of walking around relaxing and Seeing where the day takes us. I mean. And eating, of course. But you do have food. <laughs> So it is Saturday, May 20th now. Um, so I just showed you guys my little like, wrap up from yesterday. Didn't hit my goal, I was about an hour and a half short. But like I said, I did finish three books, so I will take that. Um, I finished uh, A Court of Frost and Starlight, Blood on the Tracks, and In the Lives of Puppets. Um, I can't tell you that In the, Lives of, In the Lives of Puppets may be my favorite book I've read so far this year. So that's awesome. I finished that and I got several percent like further into a lot of the audiobooks I was listening to. Um actually or no, I think that was the day before. I did DNF a book as well, but I think that was on Thursday. Uh so yeah. It is like I said Saturday now, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around. We'll see what my goal for today is going to be. I don't know how much reading I'll be able to get in today because the weekends are busier. Um yeah, let's turn the camera around and see what we're working with. Okay guys, so we're going to go over to my um, settings and get the screen time. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the right day. Okay, so it's actually 7 hours and 12 minutes. And let's see if I had any reading time on that day. There's the categories here. Okay, so it looks like I had about 28 minutes of... 
reading time on that day. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my calculator and calculate how many minutes total that is. So 60 times 7 plus the 12 minutes. And then we're going to subtract the 28 minutes of reading time I already had. Okay, so it looks like my um, hours for today is 6 hours and 44 minutes. So that's a good amount of time, especially on a Saturday. Um, I think what I'm going to do is start listening to some audiobooks. I want to do some knitting um, this morning because I am falling behind on my knitting for my books. So I'm going to work on that for a little while. And I will listen to an audiobook while I do that. Um, and get through as many of those as I can and get going. I may be able to get in like maybe 20 minutes, half an hour here in the morning. And I'll have to focus the rest later on in the day. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit this goal today. Um, I think during the week is definitely going to be my best days, but we'll get in as much as we can. So I will check back in with you guys later when I have more of an update to let you know how far I've gotten um, into our goal. morning um today is sunday may 21st it is about 8 15 at night now i did get some clips over the weekend of me doing my reading so i did not hit my goal for yesterday maybe i did say that but anyway i didn't hit my goal for yesterday i think i only read like an hour and a half maybe for the whole day um but i did finish two books i think i think i finished two books um, I finished Blood on the Tracks, Volume 3, I believe, and I also finished The Gargoyles Captive by Katie Robert, um, and then, um, so that was still a successful day. Even though I didn't hit my reading goal, I still managed to finish a couple books that worked for me. I have now finished, I think, at least 10 books in the last week, uh, or not, it hasn't been a week. Today's Sunday, since Wednesday, I have finished at least 10 books. I don't remember if it's 10 or 11 now, but, um, so it's been very successful, so... I'll take it. Today is Sunday, like I said. Um, I will not be hitting my goal today either. I think the goal for today was five hours and, or maybe it was six hours. I think it might have been six hours and 50 something minutes, or five hours and 50 something minutes. I don't remember exactly. Um, but I will have included the clip um, showing like when I pulled that goal up this morning. Um, so you guys will have seen exactly what that amount was. Not gonna be hitting it. I think I've read maybe two hours today. Um, I got. A little bit further into what happened to Ruthie Ramirez. Um, that is uh, an ebook that I have had on my Kindle for a while now. I think it's actually an ARC. I know that book is out now, but I think that might be an ARC actually from NetGalley. Um, uh, I got a little bit further into that and then I started Air of Fire, uh, the, the third book I think it is in the Throne of Glass series, third or fourth. Uh, I'm not very far in. I think I'm only like 50 pages in maybe if that. Um, but I started that, gonna keep working on that, uh, throughout the week. Um, I'm trying to think, I think that's about it as far as the reading I've done today. I knew I wasn't going to get as much reading done over the weekend, just because weekends are always busier, like I said, but tomorrow is a new week. Tomorrow is Monday, so I will be home. I will be, um, be able to focus more on reading 
and um, try to hit that goal again. So next week or tomorrow, we will see, um, kind of start the process over again, see what my goal is in the morning, and then take my reading throughout the week. I would like to finish, um, I'm going to do this vlog through Wednesday. I started on Wednesday, so Wednesday, Wednesday for a week. I would like to get to finish at least a couple more books. Um, I would love to finish the whole Blood on the Tracks series. I don't know if it's a complete series or if there's still more coming out, but I would love to finish the ones that there are. But I think, but I think there's like 13 of them somewhere around there there's more than 10 and i don't know if my library has all of them so i don't know if that's feasible um but i'd like to finish those i can't or get in as far into that series as i can and maybe finish a couple more books um i'd love to finish the audiobooks i mean the physical books that i'm reading the adventures of amina al sarafi you saw me start that earlier as long as the lemon trees go grow i started that earlier in the week as well and then out air of fire those are the three physical books i have i'd love to finish another physical book I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'll try, we'll see. I am starting to wind down on the ebooks that I have available. Um, I had a whole bunch of ebooks on my Kindle that I had had for a while, and I just was not finishing, and this vlog has helped has helped me do that. So I'm very happy about that. Um, so maybe if I finish some of these ebooks, I can focus more on the physical books. I do, however, have a lot of audiobooks. Um, I wanna say I have like five or six audiobooks currently on my, I think I have like five or six e um, audiobooks on my library app. So we'll see how many of those I can get through. Maybe I can finish um, A Man Called Ova. That's one that I'm in the middle of. And The London Seance Society. Those are the two that I'm a good of, like, portion of the way through. I think I'm maybe like 40-50% through those. So maybe I can finish those in the next few days. Um, and then I have a few other books that are on there as well. We'll see. Hopefully, like I said, I can get at least three or four more done. But that is my update for Sunday. So thank you for coming along with me. Thank you for making it this far into the vlog. I hope you guys are liking this style reading vlog, this little like challenge for myself. Um, I will probably do this again because I have finished so many books um, this week, like I said. And yeah, that is it for tonight. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow morning when it's time to find out my goal for tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is Monday now. It is about 8.17. I don't think I've updated yet today. Uh, so my goal for today, I think was like five and a half hours. Um, and I have reached that goal. I'm currently at six hours, so I actually went up over a little bit to make up for the weekend because I did not reach my goal either day this weekend. Um, so I did finish the London Seance Society uh, earlier today, which makes that book 11 or 12, maybe 11, um, that I have finished, or it might be 10, um, 10 or 11, that I have finished already in this vlog uh, or in this video, thanks to this little challenge. I'm really happy about that. I'm currently like 13 books ahead of schedule. On my Goodreads challenge, which is awesome. Uh, so I finished that. I finished the London Seance Society. Pretty good. I gave it three stars. Good, not great. Um, finished that. Then I got a little bit further into A Man Called Ova. I think I'm like 50 something percent into that. So hopefully I should be able to finish that this week. Um, and then I feel like there's one more audiobook I'm listening to. There's one more, but I can't, I don't remember what it is. But I need to get a little bit, um, I need to get further into it. I'm like 40% into that one. But I did start Air of Fire. I, or maybe I started, I might have talked about this over the weekend. Because I did start over the weekend. But I got further into it. Um, I'm now 130 pages in. Um, I'm trying to read 180 pages a day. So that I can try to finish this by the end of this video. So by Wednesday night when I end this. Uh, hopefully I should be able to do that. So, so far it seems like I should be able to have been doing so much more reading and I did see earlier when I was getting that screen time for today um, that my that my overall screen time for last week was down overall compared to the week, previous week. So not only am I reading more, focusing on reading more, but I'm also spending less time on my phone and less time on social media and all that, which was the goal of this. Um, over the weekend I have spent a lot of time on TikTok though and today. So I need to do this again at some point, get through some more books, but also work on, again, during that downtime, reading and not, like, scrolling TikTok for an hour. Um, but otherwise, this video has been super successful, very happy with it. Um, and I also started The Drift today by CJ Tudor. I'm, like, 21% into that. I'm listening to the audiobook of that, so hopefully I should be able to finish that pretty quickly. The other book is Just the Nicest Couple by Mary Kubica. I'm 28% into that, um, so hopefully I'll be able to finish that in the next couple of days too while I'm working. 
Um, so that could potentially be at least three more books done this week, um, including, actually that's three books, and then this one would be a fourth, and then if I read any more of Blood on the Tracks, which I definitely want to do, I'm going to try to get through one tonight. That's at least five more books um, in this video. If I could get to 20 books, that would be amazing. I don't know that that will happen, but maybe we can make that a goal. Maybe with Blood on the Tracks, that might be feasible. So, um, yeah, that is my update for tonight. I'm going to read more of Air of Fire. I have like 60 more pages to go for today's goal. Um, and then maybe I'll pick up one of my ebooks. my ebooks that I need to finish. Um, and yeah, that is the update for tonight. I will check back, check back in with you guys tomorrow, Tuesday, May 23rd, I think. And yeah, I'll see you then. So it is Wednesday, May 24th, the last day of this vlog. I didn't update yesterday. Uh, it was a busy day at work. There was a bunch of stuff going on. I didn't get the chance to. Um, I did not hit my reading goal yesterday. Uh, the reading goal was like six hours or something. I don't remember exactly how uh, much, but I read for a total of three hours. So I did do some reading. I just didn't hit the goal. Um, I did not finish any books yesterday, I don't think. Um, but I did get further into a Manka Ova. Um, Delilah Green Doesn't Care, what else, Just the Nicest Couple, I got further into several of the audiobooks I'm listening to, um, and I also got further into Air of Fire. If I keep up with how much I've been reading Air of Fire, um, I only have this last section left, so I should hopefully be able to finish this today, and that will be another book that I have finished, um, this week, during this video, um, and I'm gonna listen to some of these audiobooks. I think I can definitely finish a man called I think I can definitely finish a man called Ova today. I think I only have maybe an hour left. Um and then the other ones I should hopefully be able to. I'm hoping I'll be able to finish at least two or three more books today. I can probably get a couple of Blood on the Tracks done too since those are so quick. Um so we'll see what I get to. Yeah, so that is it. Um I filmed the week of this vlog, this video, um trading out my screen time for reading time. I hope you enjoyed it. Um seen that so th i would say that this was a very su successful video for me in my reading i read uh 11 books within the last week or not i shouldn't say read that's misleading i finished 11 books in uh the last week a lot of these most of these i think if not all of them other than blood on the tracks um were ones that i had already started and were like in the middle of but was having a hard time finishing and I did finish 11 of them. So that I think is very successful. I will take it. Um, I'm very happy with that. I definitely saw a uh, downturn in my social media usage, in my screen time, which is great. I definitely wanna do, I definitely wanna do one of these again at some point um, and do only physical books because I think part of the reason why I, this was as successful as it was and why I was able to finish so many books is because a lot of them were audiobooks which are a lot easier for me to finish. I listen to them on two times speed. I can listen to them while I'm working and I work, you know, obviously eight hours a day. So um, that's a lot of reading time every day, you know, 40 hours a week. Um, so I definitely want to try this again with physical books, like I said, and see if it's as, as successful and make it a little bit more challenging uh, because obviously reading a book physically, you have to sit down and, you know, give your attention to the book you're reading rather than kind of multitasking while you're listening to a book. So um, that's definitely something I want to do in the future, but this was a fun video to film like I knew it would be. I really enjoyed watching Olivia's versions of this. I will tag her down below so you can watch hers. Um, and yeah, that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video, com uh, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know if this is something you're going to try. How many books did you finish in May? Um, and be on the lookout for my May wrap up. That will be coming up in the next couple of weeks and I will see you in the next one.